Nonprofit in Carbon County just opened a new warming shelter this month after seeing an increased need for their services. Newswatch 16's Amanda Eustace shows us how you can help. Shelves remain bare inside the food pantry at Family Promise of Carbon County in Nesquahoning. This is all that's left to help feed the 25 people, 13 of them children, who are a part of the nonprofit's transitional living program. Again, our capacity, we have a long waiting list. Um, our families are staying longer um, and our families are working. They're, wor they're working families, but they just cannot afford the rents in the area. The nonprofit helps families get back up on their feet, but with a wait list over 60 families long, Executive Director Kathy Lamb says their services exceed what they can do in this building, and there is a bigger issue at hand. The wages just don't coincide, plus the your average cost of living. And I think that that is, is a big factor. Because the organization has seen such an increased need for transitional housing, they actually opened up the basement of this church and renovated it to be able to help even more people. It is brand new. Um, we, we were going to hold off until we did have bathroom and shower facilities, but the temperatures were so brutal. I said, you know, hey, what, we can offer uh, some soup, a cup of coffee, cup of tea, some cocoa, yeah. and give folks a chance to come in and warm up. It's not just for those who have no place to stay. It's open to families that are struggling or those who are having a hard time paying their heating bill. The warming day shelter is open on an as needed basis, but they have bigger plans for the space. Offer uh, for overnight as well for the unsheltered population of the area, but we, we just don't have the funding to install bathrooms yet. Yeah. So that's what we're working towards. Lamb says they are always collecting monetary and gift card donations, as well as food and clothing items. If you would like to donate to Family Promise of Carbon County, we have information at WNEP.com. I'm Andy Eustace, Newswatch 16, Carbon County.